Hey guys, hi and welcome to the video. My name is Saumil Shah. I work as a software engineer. This video I'm going to be talking about a very important topic in Elasticsearch that is the Shrink API. I'll be showing you a demo uh, basically about the Shrink API. I'll be walking you over the concept and then essentially we'll be uh, show, uh, I'll be explaining you why to use a Shrink API over a Reindex API. What are the benefits man? So a uh, lot, lot few people understand this, so which is why I decided to make this video. Uh, I, I have a small example followed by a beautiful diagram which will clear all your concepts. Um, I really love, you know, during my free time, uh, essentially reading blogs and, you know, uh, learning more and more on Elasticsearch. I've been working on Elasticsearch from past two years and I've been managing uh, an entire stack on my um, in my company as well. So in this video, I'll be teaching you about the Shrink API, man. Let's get started with the video. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna read the definition and then I have a small demo for you. The shrink index API allows you to shrink an existing index into a new index with a fewer primary shards. Now, all the Elasticsearch engineer, you know what I'm talking about. If you wanna chain number of shards for tuning and performance, this is the way to go. Reindex is a very, very expensive process. We'll talk about that. The requested number of primary, uh, the, the, the requested number of primary shards in the target index must be a factor of number of shards in the source index. Let me explain what that means. Let's say you have a an index with uh, essentially eight shards. So you can chain the number of shards to one, two, or four. That should be a multiple. You cannot choose three, five, a random number, right? Has to be a multiple and always has to be less than the target index, okay? This is the criteria with the shrink API. How to use that and how to, you know, uh, do all, all of that, I'll, I'll show you. So the first thing what we did, and I have some screenshots uh, taken because this things this takes a long time, essentially, right? Which is why I, I have taken screenshot. I do have Elasticsearch. Oops, I, I do have Elasticsearch open up here. Um, so um, so this this one right here, get underscore cat slash shards, then the index name question mark v ampersand h is equal to index comma shards comma primary. Uh, comma state comma docs and nodes so if you run this this should essentially show you all the nodes uh, their states uh, you know the documents and all that right right this is what it's gonna show you so before when i ran the query as you can see uh, i have a three cluster node which means i have three compute nodes for my elastic search i will explain you the concept in a very easy way man so let's say this is your index right you have uh, let's say you have some primary shards, you have replicas and, and, and you have multiple nodes. Node essentially means you, uh, when you work, when you essentially work with Elasticsearch, you will have several worker nodes, right? And a master node that essentially uh, does the aggregator. So these are the worker nodes. It has shards, right? Now I want to change the shards for better optimal performance, right? So the way you do that is you call an API. Uh, what this does is essentially it goes through all the index, uh, it goes through all the nodes and grab all the shards on one in one node, right? So after calling this, this is how it looks like. So as you can see, the blue box right here essentially means go to all the node, take all the shards, bring them on one node. Okay, you're saying get everything on one node. After that, you can call shrink API and change the number of shards for the new target node. So, okay, I know it's complicated, but let me try to ease, ease off this. With this API call, as you can see here, these numbers that rep represents my nodes. So these are my nodes, right? This 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 box right here is a node, right? That's, that's I have a three worker node configuration, which is why you see a 72 DF and there might be one five, yeah. So these are three nodes that I have on my, on my server that's using Elasticsearch. I have three separate nodes three computer, three C2, think of it that way. Okay, now what we are doing is after that, next step, uh, we'll zoom in as much as possible. Now, as you can see, I'm saying put the index on which I wanna do that, posting is the index, right? Then I'm saying essentially, uh, this is the sample data set that I use from Kaggle, right? Uh, so I'm saying uh, settings, then I'm providing index.routing.allocation.require name. I'm saying to them that, hey guys, go through all the nodes and bring everything on my node A. I want all my shards on node A. This is what you're saying. So you give the ID of the node. Remember in the previous query when we fired up, you had essentially all the different uh, nodes, node ID that you had here, right? So then you said, hey, go and collect everything on a single node, on this node. So we are saying to Elasticsearch, hey, do this one now, blue box right here. Once that is done guys, then essentially if you call the same API, as you can see, now in that index posting, 
all the primary shards are on the same node. So what it did, it, it said, okay, node one, give me all the primary shard, bring it here. Node two, bring all the primary shards, bring it. So now essentially this one node has all the primary shards, right? So we made that as you can see in the left hand side on a green green box. So earlier it was different numbers, right? Now after doing that, it's all same, which means it aggregated all the data, all the shards essentially on one node. Then we call the shrink API. So we call the shrink API, we say the, the index, the, the, the target index, so the, 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 the index that I, that I have, right, this posting, I want to change on posting 2022, right? So I want to do on that, right? And I'm saying I want to change it to 10 shards because my posting index had 20 shards. Now I want to change it to 10, right? So we are saying essentially, hey, change it to 10 shards. Uh, and if I can show you. So uh, let me bring this here. Okay, here. So we are saying that, hey, uh, you know, uh, this is the index, bring it to this new index, uh, mapping and all everything would be copied there. So you don't have to worry about that. You're saying that, hey, I would like to use 10 shards and, and replicas as zero. So now you're defining that, uh, right? So now what you're saying that is if you go to the diagram again. So once you have these configuration, now you're saying that, hey, from this copy everything to my new index with the lesser shards. So now what this is gonna do just to visualize you just for you guys can see you you folks can understand this well so now let's say i want to do this with two shards right so i can have two shards now here right and if i don't want replicas i can remove replicas and then i can test my performance right so this is my new index index uh, now let's um see a small comment by uh, some forum people um now you know, not everyone understands this, right? Which is why I'm trying to explain things on a video. What is the difference between a shrink API and a reindex API, right? Both they does the same job. This guy says reindex is typically typic sorry, reindex is typically a lot more resource intensive as all the document needs to be reprocessed. The shrink uh, the shrink index API combines existing segment without reprocessing. So it's a lot faster and the result is less CPU and disk IO usage. The biggest, uh, the bigger the index, the big, uh, the bigger the difference is what Christian says. So reindex, if you have a million items in an index, um, uh, as I said, right, I manage the elk stack on my company as well. We have, you know, millions of records, right? So if you wanna, if you use reindex, good luck, max CPU usage, map, max heap, heap usage, uh, you know, you might end up, it's not good which is why you want to use the shrink API, right? Hope this video was useful. Hope this would benefit someone, right? I would leave all the snippets in the paste pin below so you can check that out. Let me know your thoughts on this video. Uh, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Hope you are enjoying some uh, informative content like this on my YouTube channel. I would have more and more contents. Thank you for all your love and support. Keep smiling, keep programming. I would see you guys in the next upcoming video.